Hi guys B Tech here. Today LSFG just dropped an big update, which is version 3 of their frame generation technology. Now it can generate up to 20 times of frames. So if you have 30 FPS now you can get 600 FPS from it. Kinda crazy right? But let's test it. Now my laptop only has 120Hz display. So going above that is useless. So I'm going to stick 120 FPS. Please watch this video at 60 FPS if you want to get good experience. So, I'm going to test this in a game called BeamNG Drive. As you can see currently, I'm getting about 40 FPS in the game, and my GPU is not fully utilized, which means there is a CPU bottleneck, which means my GPU can do much more but CPU is currently holding it back. So this is how it feels at 40 FPS. Now let's open up lossless scaling and select the new version 3. Since I'm getting 40 FPS I will enable 3 times frame generation so I will get 120 FPS. This is the shortcut key that you can enable frame generation anytime. Now let's enable frame generation in this game. As you can see after enabling the FG, my base frame rate has gone down to like 36 FPS, but the total FPS has gone over 100 FPS, and it feels smooth, hope you guys can catch that too. And input lag is not bad, it feels like 30ish FPS input lag. Now as you can see long as you get more than 30 FPS there it feels good. There is no artifacting that I can see right now, this is definitely better than LSFG version 2.3. Now here it is without frame generation, it feels now a little bit laggy after playing with frame gen. Now let's lock the FPS to 30. Also let's change the frame generation to 4 times. And now it feels choppy at 30 FPS. Ok then now I will enable frame generation at 4 times. Wow it instantly feels much better. Now it is providing 120 FPS. Now let's do the same thing with 20 FPS. Now it feels bad. Let's change at custom frame gen limit, which is 6 times to get 120 FPS. Wow, it feels much better now, but now I can see some artifacts when moving.
Now let's move on to 15 FPS. Man, this feels bad. Also, there is a lot of input lag. Now let's enable 8 times FG to get 120 FPS. Well, it feels better, but there is now visible artifactings happening and input lag doesn't feel good. Now let's lock it to 10 FPS. Now this feels terrible. Also input lag is horrible. Now let's enable FG at 12 times and see what it will be able to do. It feels smooth, but doesn't feel good. There are major artifacts and terrible input lag. Of course this is totally expected, but LSFG has done fantastic job considering this is 10 FPS. Also they recommend using this at least with 60 FPS or above. But I find this pretty usable even at 20 FPS if you can handle some artifacts and input lag. Now let's see what LSFG can do at its max. I will limit FPS to 6. This is totally unplayable with this kind of an input lag and frame rate. Let's see what LSFG can do at 20 times frame generation. Well at least now it feels smooth, but now the whole game feels like a glitch. So, you if you have a 600Hz monitor you can get the benefit of 20 times frame generation. But I got to give it to LSFG team for this fantastic job, it's well worth for the price. So that's it for the video, thanks for watching, if you find this video helpful please help me by subscribing.